We are here today in Senator Blumenthal's office. We wanted to talk about, given that it's Earth Day, some of the environmental aspects of the genocide in Gaza that have been going on. Many organizations, especially uh, even the Food and Agriculture Organization within the UN, have said that an ecocide is going on in Gaza currently. So far, we know that at least 40% of the agricultural land in Gaza has been absolutely decimated. That number goes to 90% when you just consider northern Gaza. This has been a very deliberate, intentional, and inhumane part of Israel's aggression against Gaza, where they are trying to destroy all this agricultural land so that it cannot sustain any life even after they're done with their killing. Other stats that we know from the ground is that they have been using white phosphorus in Gaza in the West Bank as well, which has long-term ramifications, as well as the fact that a lot of the olive trees that are in the West Bank have been burnt intentionally, not just because they provide for the people, but also because of their symbolic importance to the Palestinians. We are the land of the olive trees and they intentionally burn them and destroy them, not just to destroy the land, but also to send a message that this land is no longer yours. And we're going to make sure that's the case. Senator Blumenthal is normally a pro-environment um, senator. He's someone who signed on to the Green New Deal, but he's also someone who takes a lot of money from APAC. And what our principal message here today both drawing attention to ecocide in Gaza, but just also the detrimental effects that war has on the environment for all of us in any context. What we see right now as well, not just in terms of the land being destroyed, but you know, as sewage and water treatment plants are destroyed, there is tons of waste going into the Mediterranean Sea. 90% mm -hmm. of the groundwater is contaminated. Mm -hmm. It's gonna take years for the rubble to be cleared. And we've seen hundreds of, hundreds of thousands of tons of CO2 be released into the atmosphere. This is a transboundary threat to all of us. Mm -hmm. And we don't even know what the emissions will be for the recovery of this land. The reconstruction process will be so energy intensive. And so what we'd like to stress today is that any Senator who claims to care about land, water, air, the climate cannot support militarism cannot support Israel's genocide in Gaza. I have a message for Senator Blumenthal. As one Jew to another, I would like to say never again, never again. That is what every Jewish kid in America learns growing up about the Holocaust against the Jews in Europe during World War II, that we stand against a Holocaust, a genocide ever happening ever again to any other people. It's not just about the Jewish people, it's about every people on this earth, never again. So please vote no on the weapons to Israel because that will be a vote against genocide. A yes vote is a vote for genocide. And ecocide as well. War is not green. The Pentagon is the largest industrial polluter in the world. It is so often not talked about. We focus on country emissions, but the US has 800 uh, bases around the world and we are continuously one of the biggest polluters, our military industrial complex. So on this day as we celebrate Earth Day, we also need to be calling out the military industrial complex and urging our senators to vote no on ecocide, vote no on genocide.